so this is how we check a uh, android barometer by uh, this uh, japanese site which state that independent checking of android barometer i'll paste this link uh, in the description so before taking the reading here it says uh, four things which should be taken into account like uh, the ship should be anchored in the japanese port uh, the it, the reading should be taken at the exact name of hours like 15 under 16 under 17 and at the exact hours not five minutes 10 minutes before after like that other thing that uh, the android barometer should not be placed in presence of uh, wind means there should not be strong wind near the android android barometer and the android barometer should not be placed directly in the sunlight so these are the precautions which should be taken while taking the reading then it uh, gives out the form which is uh, the name is check form you can download the form from this site so basically whatever readings we will take we will note down the readings in this form so i'll later on i'll show you the form so how we can go about this uh, then it's tell uh, you are in which location so rest all it gives the description how to fill the form there is written inside it so it says how to fill the form so for that uh, you will know come to know by reading this website then after it will tell which port you are on you will select the port uh, so here for example i'll select the port hiroshima uh, i'll click go it will open another website uh, another window and there you can see the local time the uh, whether the pressure given over there is in local time and it will tell you what is the local pressure at that uh, place like for example here 2000 at mean sea level so this is the pressure at mean sea level okay that should uh, this is a very important point so then you can close it you can select the port where you are based upon your location then it gives a sample also that how to fill the form like you should fill this form uh, the sample is given basically then it also have a diagrammatic view of japan coastal area so you can either you can select the port directly from there from the above or you can come here and uh, click on the diagrammatic view and then uh, you can click on the port where you are so the, here we select the port akita and we, we saw the weather then you close the window you come down and here it says that the japan metallurgical agency does not take any the responsibility like this so i downloaded the form name check form and uh, i downloaded from this website and for example now if we take that we are we are at hiroshima we are anchored at hiroshima uh anchored at birth uh, so here what happens is uh we can check it 20 now it is showing for 2000 and the 2000 is 2000 gst means 2000 japan standard time and below in this website itself it gives a uh, uh, information stating that the temperature humidity atmospheric pressure data are measured at surface weather stations except for the four ports which it mentioned here and every actually every hour and uh, so this is how it is so now i'll fill those values in uh, the boxes red boxes in red boxes we have to fill the value in green boxes it will show the instrument error and in blue box it will show the total correction error so for example i fill 8 meters at my barometer height in ballast it is 16 meters and current barometer height for example this is all example 10 meters like we are partly loaded so and our barometer reading is uh, 1001 and we are at port of hiroshima weather station pressure at uh, sea level we can check it was how much it was so temperature here it is given is 24.6 and uh, pressure is 1004.9 i'll fill those values which I got from the website and uh, now you can see the what is the total correction actually we only worry we have to worry about the total correction it does not worry about the instrumental error and everything one thing is uh, one thing important over here is which our reading will always be in positive why because the temp the pressure given on the websites are at sea level and we are always above sea level our android barometer is always above sea level so it should always be in positive we should always the add the reading to come to sea level because pressure as we go up it decreases so our android barometer will always show less value as compared to sea level so we always have to add one thing that is for sure and so this is how it shows that this is the total correction we have to apply depending upon our parametric height then we can fill this form 
and we can uh, take a master sign stamp and then we can paste it near the android barometer and then we can say that we have calibrated on board android barometer and these are the readings form